Hello and welcome to this demonstration of MDesign 3D Structure and the Joy Module 3D Soil. We will compare two identical concrete foundations lying on soil bed. The ground under the first foundation will be modeled as solid elements using FemDesign's Joy Module 3D Soil, while the ground under the other foundation will be modeled using springs or bedding modules. Before we start comparing these two foundations, we will look at the difference in behavior between bedding modulus and solid elements. Using bedding modulus is a simplification of reality that is sometimes not good enough, or simply not acceptable as a base for further design of the foundation or the structure. Bedding modulus cannot really describe soil characteristics and response when loading and unloading the soil. Another disadvantage is that the springs in a bedding modulus cannot transfer shear forces as soil do. Individual springs' response at loading are independent of each other, which means that if a spring in a bedding modulus is subjected to a load, the surrounding springs are not affected by that. The consequence of that is this settlement profile, where only the parts subjected to a load are deformed, while in reality the settlement profile is more like this, where even the soil outside the loaded area is deformed because soil can transfer shear forces. We start with a case study to illustrate the difference in behavior between bedding modulus and solid elements, before we move on to the practical example. The foundations in the case study have the following stiffness properties. They are 20 by 20 meters and 1 meter high. The stiffness of the bedding modulus is estimated by calculating the settlements according to the 2-1 method. The soil has the following properties and it's 20 meter deep. A uniform load of 100 kPa is applied on each foundation. First of all, we take a look at the deformations. The settlement profile is as we expected. The foundation on solid elements has a settlement profile that reminds us of the soil behavior, while the foundation on bedding modulus has the same settlement along the foundation as the load is uniform. We can also see that the settlement profile affects the internal forces as well. A look at the bending moment indicates the difference. In the case with bedding modulus, the bending moment is equal to zero because no deflection has taken place in the foundation. Now we go back to our practical example. The foundations are 8 by 8 meters and 1.2 meters high. Both of the foundations have the same concrete quality and the same material properties. The soil beneath the foundations contains of a 12 meters high clay gel layer. The elasticity modulus of the soil is 36 megapascal. The ground beneath the other foundation is modeled with bedding modulus and the stiffness of the bedding modulus has been calculated by estimating the settlements beneath the foundations as you can see in the following hand calculation. We simply calculate the pressure at the ground level and estimate the total settlements by using the 2-1 method to calculate the vertical stresses in different levels in the soil. The stiffness of the bedding modulus is then obtained by dividing the total pressure by the total settlement. The total pressure is 54.2 kPa, the settlement is 7.2 mm, and the stiffness of the bedding modulus is calculated to 7,500. We take a look at the loads, and as we can see, we have four vertical point loads acting on the foundations and one horizontal load. The loads are acting in three different positions, and the load combination in ultimate and serviceability limit state is made for each and one of the positions. The same loads and load combinations are also made for the foundation with the bedding modulus. We move further and check the finite element mesh. The finite element size of the foundation is a half meter and the mesh size of the surrounding soil is 2 meters. We make sure that we have the same element size in the other foundation and yes, we do have the same element size. Now we are ready to do a calculation to analyze and design the foundations.
as we can see, the model with the solid elements takes a little bit more time to calculate, and that's because this model has more elements than the model with bedding modulus. The analysis calculation is ready, and we start with checking the deformations and the deformation shape in the two models. Now we take a look at the deformations under the biggest and the smallest load. And we can consider that not only the total settlements are smaller in the model with the solid elements, but the differential settlements are much smaller as well. Modeling the ground as springs in this case would have given us a bigger and higher foundation to reduce the differential settlements. But that's not needed as the model with solid elements, which gives more accurate results, indicates that the settlements and the differential settlements are acceptable. Of course, the difference between these two models would be more obvious with a thinner foundation that don't has the ability to distribute the loads as good as a thick foundation. The last step is to design the concrete foundations and estimate the required amount of reinforcement. We apply 12 mm bars with 250 mm spacing in the top and the bottom in all directions. And then we check the structural capacity of the foundations. As we can see, the foundation in the model with solid elements is utilized up to 98% of its capacity. The reinforcement in the top of the foundation is much less utilized, so we can reduce it even more. We increase the distance between the bars in the top to 300 millimeters. On the other side, the structural capacity of the foundation in the model with bedding modulus is not enough and has more than 20% lower bearing capacity than the foundation in the model with solid elements. So we put more reinforcement by decreasing the distance between the reinforcement bars in order to increase the bearing capacity. We try 12 mm bars with 200 mm spacing Check the capacity again, and yes, it works. Now both of the foundations have almost the same bearing capacity, but the foundation in the model with bedding modulus have 25% more reinforcement in the bottom and 50% more reinforcement in the top than the foundation in the model with solid elements. So even if it means relatively longer calculation time, using solid elements gives results that are more accurate and leads to a slim design with less consumption of concrete and reinforcement in most cases.